Hello there, welcome to my uh, second video. Uh, I had quite a lot of great sort of feedback from my first one, from people who'd uh, had guitars previously, thought about doing it, weren't really sure about what they wanted to do either. So I thought I'd give them a basics video, which will help them on their guitar journey, however long they want to go for it. Uh, I'm going to carry on with mine, but I thought I'd give you guys a helping hand while I'm going on mine too. So I thought I'd do a breakdown of bits and pieces about a guitar so you can get your feel for it, you can start to learn about them, figure out whether or not it's for you, hopefully it is. But I'll bring you uh, up to the headstock first as this is uh, one of the easiest places to start. So this headstock up here on this charble, uh, it's got six strings. Now you do get ones that have seven strings but they're a bit more up there and out there so we'll leave them for now. Uh, on here, this one has the tuners, there's six of them, one for each string uh, going down the neck of the guitar and to keep the tension whilst they're in place you have these things called the tune lockers. These hold the smaller strings as they're going a bit further down and things just held them back so there's got a good connection with the nut on there. Now the nut is like just a proud piece sticking up so it keeps the strings above the fretboard markers. So as you come to press, press them down, the string touches, thus shortening the string and changing the note frequency. Uh, from there, on here, you've got the neck of the guitar, which has the fingerboard or fretboard. Now, this charvel has a lovely thin neck, which has a nice grooved out palm shape there, so it's not too square. It's probably one of the easiest things to play if you've got a nice small one, because you've got plenty of gaps with your fingers, so you can press down those fingertips straight onto those strings too, which will help you when you're playing to begin with, which will give you a great boost. Now, on certain guitars, they may have a flat fretboard, but this one has a very slightly curved one, which helps you when you're trying to do any bending and metal sounds and stuff like that. Um, the guitars I've seen with flat ones generally tend to be the cheaper makes, and also uh, a lot of acoustics may have them as well. Some of the budget ones definitely do. Uh, but this lovely fingerboard is then connected into the body of the guitar. So this is a glued and screwed, it might just be glued, it might have other things and features in it too, but on primarily all of them, they're glued and screwed into the body. Now the body, uh, according to some, gives resonance to sound, but there's a bit of a myth on all that. You may have seen it, you may already know of it. Um, I would like to test it, but I don't think Chris will let me put a saw to his guitar and start chopping bits away and testing it. But you never know, maybe in the future we might do it with something a little less special. Uh, the guitar then continues down, and you've got three pickups on this one as it's single coil pickups. Uh, there's no humbuckers, which are generally for metal sounds. Uh, this one's more of a classic design before they'd uh, brought them out. Uh, this one is also including a white pit guard which will stop markings of the finish and keep it overall looking nice and aesthetically pleasing. Uh, from here you also have cutaways for the body which makes it more ergonomic so you'll have smoothed off sections on the corner but when you're playing you're putting your arm over it's not digging in scratching causing you uncomfort because you want this thing this instrument to reward you when you're playing not aggravate you or cause you any injury so there's various cutaways all over the body as you can see it's quite thin fairly light so it's not going to tax you too much if you do have to stand with it and you do play for long periods of time uh, it's also got a nice little cutaway on the bottom for where you can rest it on your knee if you need to and you've got the pickup selector just here so this will select various different combinations so all the front might be just the front only all on the back might just be picking up on the back in the middle might be picking just the middle you've also got the front middle you've also got the middle and the back and these will give different kind of sounds so if uh, we stick it on the front just give it a little bit of a little bit of a go you can hear this so on the front thing it's, it's more sort of jazzy it's all more bluesy whereas if you're on the back it's more, more metal sounding and obviously you've got various different combinations of each of those uh, so it gives you an idea of what this can do 
Then lastly, coming down to the back end of it, you can just about see it on here, so it's a black bass guitar, is the bridge. Now this thing has got springs in there just to help the tension on there. And when you're doing whammy bars and lift offs, which this one does have, but I've not included it on here at the minute, just so you can see it a bit better. Uh, this will give you all your light little whammy sounds and doing all your guitar tricks and stuff. But for now, we'll just move on over that. Uh, it'll also have things where you can hold, uh, put in your strap, just so you don't drop it, always useful. And this sort of guitar also has an access panel on the back where you can go through, restring, and adjust them if you need to. You might have any kind of inside issues you need to sort out, but most guitars are like that. Now, getting the best out of these instruments, you can do a couple of different things. So you can strum with your fingers, if you would like, it might come from certain songs you need to do, or you've got a various selection of pitch that you can use. So here we have a nice pick, green one, it's fairly heavy, so this one's quite tough. So you can get quite heavy sounds from the guitar with that. Whereas this one is quite thin, as you can see it's quite bending quite a lot. So this one's a little bit softer, probably easier if you don't want to damage your guitar if you're a heavy strummer as well. Uh, but you can also get some unusual stuff as well, like some different shaped ones, which might give you sort of more refined points on there. I mean, these, this is quite a soft one too. But uh, from there, from your pickings and stuff, you've got your guitar lead out point. So what you need is one of these, which is a standard lead, goes straight in, and it will go all the way through various bits of wires, all the way to your lovely amp. Now this is the only way you can really make it sound anything. I mean, it does have some sort of tuned string sound, so if you want to do some quiet playing with just the string sounds, you probably can do some practice in the stuff, but you won't get the full effect because you, you really want to be rocking out with the electric on this one. So if you can get yourself any kind of um, headphones that plug into it, that would be great also. Uh, there's also this as an option, which I'll be doing a video on later, a little mini app. Uh, check me back on that one. Uh, but for now, this is just a little bit about the guitars. Hopefully it gives you a little bit of education and you can start on your uh, guitar journey. So if you've got any comments, please place them down on the video. Please like me as well. Please put some subscription uh, ticks in there and uh, put it on the bell as well so you can get notified when I do some more videos. But thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll see you again with some other great content. Please do subscribe.